is going to be different. We've got a Champions League winner on show. World Cup winner, Robert Perez, former footballers who've won the lot between them, but they're rubbing shoulders with men every bit as successful, more successful when you think of Robbie Williams, you think of Usain Bolt and Samo Farah. We've got a Knight of the Realm, we've got MBEs, OBEs, the fastest man on earth. first six editions of this match have raised that amount on behalf of UNICEF over the 12 years since Robbie Williams and his good friend Jonathan Wilkes hatched this crazy scheme. Television audiences of many, many millions, over 450,000 fans have seen the matches. Every major football occasion is preceded by a suitable anthem and tonight's is no exception. United fan and UNICEF supporter Jesse Ware will sing a very apt Carol King song. This is Robbie Keane. In towards Bolts again! Well, a high jumper he's not. Great ball into the box. Usain Bolt with his thumb up there. Just peeled off Phil Neville. Phil Neville was nowhere. Couldn't get off the ground, Phil. Bolt tried to let it run to Torre, it might come for Keane, it's well intercepted in the end. It's a bold run by Stevenson. And a really good ball towards Ben. It's great keeping by Van der Sar. Kept alive by Lynch. Just over the head of Murs. Great start to the game. Great play from Stevenson. Great ball. Van der Sar was sharp off his line. You can just see Lynch here, can he pick Oli Murs out just over at the cross? A good play from England. Van der Sar heads it. They're on. Here is Bolt. Oh, and he's taken Neville out and he's fed it through to Keane. And the flag's up, he's offside, it won't count. Uh, Phil dived in a bit. £10 could help provide 300 children with clean water for a month. Basic human need. Here's Darren Bent for the first real chance for England, and he's taken it well. Just rolls England into the lead. Less than 12 minutes played. And uh, Darren Bent, who spent the second half of the season playing in the championship for Burton Albion. It hardly seems fair, does it? But he's got the England goal. Great vision from Oli Murs there to pick the pass out. The coolness personified there from Darren Bent. Playing the championship last year. Great first touch there to drag it back onto his left foot and put it into an empty net. I think Kevin Peterson thought he was out. He looked like he was going down the tubs. There's Yaya Toure. All the space for Veron. Oh, he's brought down by Farrow, was he? Oh no, he's. It's a dive. Veron's not having it, but Mark Clattenburg, who has refereed the Champions League final, was pretty convinced that Samo Farrow was the innocent party there. Ooh, I think he's gone down to his there, Veron. Just gonna look here. Yeah, he's a good decision from Mark Clattenburg. Right to Mers. Between the legs of O'Carroll. Bent. Right to deliver again and to deliver well, and it's a really good cross. And just then scores. Turned in at the far post. First celebrity goal of the night. He's scored by F2 freestyler Jess Lynch. Good build up play. What a fantastic ball for Mark Wright. Lynch there, and that back post just got away from. Dan Carter, first time volley, good technique, great start for England. Well, it's great to see these two wonderful athletes together, Bolt going all the way himself, and just couldn't quite squeeze it past David Seymour. Carter is waiting, 
Left footed cross, Robbie Keane. Stepped away from Brown. Seaman comes out. Keane's beaten him. And the World Eleven have replied through Robbie Keane, Ireland's all time leading goal scorer, has got the first of the night for the World Eleven. It's 2 1. It's a magnificent touch from Robbie Keane. Dan Carter picks him out. Just watch this now. It's old Wes Brown. Just got there before David Seaman. That first touch was brilliant. And there. Got it. There probably was a feeling prior to the match the World 11 might just have the better legends. Here is Keane, one of them. In towards Bolt. He's got a real chance. He scored! Offside. Oh, you spoil sport linesman. Don't you know who it is? I'll tell you what, it was a fantastic finish. Robbie Keenan ball, yeah, he's offside once again, but just the quality, the finish there. Brilliant finish. And if ever it can be said that the player didn't need to go early, that player... <laughs> Too right. Bolt wants it. There's no flag this time, it's Hussein Bolt! Oh, he smashed it too, didn't he? he? Smashed it wide, I'm afraid, but he really got hold of it. Perfect position. Just gets across more far out on his left foot. Goes for that far corner. It's a decent strike. It just curls away from that far post. So close from Usain Bolt. Bit of man love going on there, I understand. A little bit of space for Robbie Keane. Well, found by Yap Stamp. Ooh, now he's run away from Mo Farrow, which takes some doing. Ah, Mo's caught up, and he's got the ball again. Veron with the shot, 2-2. Two -two. Juan Sebastian Veron. Big, beaming smile. That tells you something about how much it means to these guys. Not quite such a big smile from his manager, but from two down, World Eleven have squared it. Yes, a good run from Robbie Keane, good ball from Stamp, he's onside. Just see a bit of skill here, sends Mo Farah the wrong way. Actually does well, Mo Farah, to get back and make the tackle. But then Brown and Neville, a bit slow getting out. Good turn through the legs of Wes Brown into that far corner. Seaman, no chance, great finish. Come on for England. Now Robert Pires. It's an interesting ball, Clivert, and good stop by Harewood. <laughs> Decided to punch it at the end, I think. To get that goal here in the derby, wasn't it? 4 3 in the last minute for Manchester United. Clivert, here's Bolt. He's gone for goal and he's hit the crossbar. Cole can't quite catch her with it. Here's Pires. Throwing it through to Seydorf and now Clivert. Clarence Seydorf has got on and scored, and World Eleven lead for the first time. Clarence Seydorf, the Dutch international, who scored a hat-trick the last time the rest of the world won, and four years ago, has scored his first. Great link-up play, wasn't it? Cliver, Seydorf, great names of football. Shrugs off Wes Brown and puts it past Harewood. <laughs> Seydorf succeeds where Usain couldn't quite. Looks up, just dinks it to that near post. It beats Harewood. Oh, I'll tell you what, Clive. This. Oh, I think it means business. I'll never forget that. Crouch, they don't start the wars, they don't spread the diseases. They just need help. They deserve your help. Well, the linesman hasn't been the friend of you, saying Bolt, tonight, one way or another. I think he was onside, it was Wes Brown. And here comes Eric Cantona back at Old Trafford. Unscheduled, unrivaled. Now Redknapp, going for goal, oh, he's hit a post, Michael Owen! Never in question. 
poacher's goal from Owen and it's 3-3. Redknapp denied by the post, but nothing denies Michael Owen in those situations. Yeah, Redknapp was his third attempt. Took a little deflection there, which took it out of the reach of Byrne. Just see there, off deflection inside the post, but that man, Michael Owen, right place, right time. How many times did we say that throughout his fantastic career? Puts it into the empty net, 3-3. Three, three. And we are eight minutes away from a penalty shooter. Usain Bolt with the first penalty. Goal. Come on, lightning bolt celeb. Where is it? A yeah, fantastic penalty. Right in the bottom corner, and here he comes. Come on, Freddie. Yeah. He's my mate, Clive. Big Freddie. One of the great athletes scores the first penalty. One of the great cricket players will take the second. Andrew Freddie Flintoff for England. Against Nicky Byrne. Oh. And it's 1-1. Great penalty from Freddie. The biggest surprise is his shirt didn't split it that tight. But coolness there from Big Freddie. Ashley Fongo is going to take the second penalty for the rest of the world. Oh, just in off the underside of the crossbar. How much space there? Room for error for the Raksu boy. Great penalty, had a very good game. Fongo in that right back position, great penalty. Joe Wicks is coming forward to take the second England penalty. And he's beaten Nicky Byrne, and it's 2 2. Four penalties, all scored. Just waiting for the goalkeeper to dive there. Put it down the middle, good penalty. Kevin Peterson. And he's going to take the next for the World Eleven. More and more pressure now on each penalty. And it's a good save! David Harewood beats it away. First miss of the shootout. Well, let's give credit where it's due to the keeper. Brilliant save from Harewood. Ball penalty from Peterson, but the goalkeeper with a great save. The only way is Wright. Mark Wright is going to take this penalty with a chance to put England ahead. Ooh, little pause in the run-up, but advantage England. You can see what it meant to him as well. Little pause, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Look at what it meant to Mark Wright. He's happy with that one. Yes. 3-2, England lead. Four more penalties to go, and it's going to be Nicky Byrne, who has played outfield and has actually scored in Soccer 8, to take the next for the World Eleven. And David Harewood does it again! And England are on the verge here. They need one more. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Their great personality is not very good mathematicians. But this is match point, and it's going to be Paddy McGuinness. Let the boots see the ball. Nicky Byrne is all that stands between Paddy McGuinness and football legend. This to win it. Oh, he saved it. You tease, you tease. Stays 3 2, <laughs> Paddy knows. What a shocking penalty. <laughs> Good save, though, from Nicky Byrne. It was a back pass, wasn't it? Well, Brendan Cole's got a job, but they still have to score. A pensive Brendan Cole against the hero of the moment, David Harewood. And Cole does score. 
but England still have a chance to win it. <laughs> Careful. Wow, that meant a lot to him. And to be fair, the pressure was on, missed. It was all over. And it's going to be Lee Mack. Well, he's made us laugh, made us smile so many times down the years. Can he put a big beaming smile on the face of his teammates? Lee Mack to win it. Oh, way wide! And the penalty shootout is 3-3. And it goes to sudden death. Oh, when he puts it well wide, can you believe it? England with two chances to win it. And we're down now to the guys who didn't volunteer. Hayden Christensen, the Canadian actor, is going to take the next one. David Hare was looking unbeatable. Let's hear it for Hayden Christensen. Sudden death. Christensen way over. Another big chance this for England. It's 3-3, three, three. they're celebrating for a reason I know not. <laughs> Get the calculator out, boys. <laughs> They've still got to score one. They've still got to find somebody to take that penalty. It's, it's going to be Blake Harrison. Well, he was telling me that he used to play in a Sunday league team half a season, run by his brother with his dad as the manager, and they always chose him as substitute. He finished up running the line. There's a chance to come and make a name for himself. And score! And England win! Blake Harrison is the hero penalty shootout he and David Harewood have edged it it's another England win at Soccer Aid and another dramatic win Blake Harrison remember the name but all he had to do was put it in between the pulse and he's certainly done it great penalty fair play well done to England